Let me show you guys how easy it is to make the best fried seafood ever. Bill, Stacy, Mike, Billy, Thomas, Kevin. You got your paper down? Time to make the best fish and chips or seafood platter ever. So use this batter for any type of seafood. You can use it for chicken and it's delicious in the end. So let's go. Everybody got a piece of paper? I'm waiting. Everybody? Kevin? Kevin? Come on, Kevin. <laughs> so let's go. Half a cup of white flour or all-purpose flour here. Half a cup of cornstarch here into the mix. We got where's bad boy? mushroom season or you can use chicken bouillon. We're gonna do a tablespoon and a half of this or you can use salt. Uh, next to this, we got one tablespoon of bacon powder here. This will be the best batter you guys ever make. Not a beer batter, not a club soda batter. It's a new batter I just created up. So here it is. So if you guys see anybody using this, just kidding guys. So I like to share my, my creation or my batter with you guys. So, all you need is one and a half cup of water in. Okay? You guys gonna make the best batter ever, okay? Next, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a nice beautiful whisk, rice heel. We're gonna mix that in. How simple is that? This is gonna be the crunchiest, most delicious batter you guys ever make, I promise you. Just try it one time, right? Then you guys be gonna make it. Mix well, very well. So, I just wanna say this. Once I finish mixing this, when I was in Vancouver, or when my wife and I were in Vancouver, we had their fish and chips, and their fish and chips was amazing. But one thing I've kind of, kind of figured out, or not figured out, but kind of, just kind of questioned was, why isn't that their fish or their shrimp was not seasoned? The only thing that was seasoned in my taste bud was their batter. So, batter season was like lightly seasoned, but it just, it just came out perfect, okay? Like the fish on its own by itself and the taste came out perfect with the lemon and the lime and the light seasoned batter with the tartar sauce. It was just amazing. So I'm not gonna season any of this, okay? So we got our cod from our Costco. We got our mini shrimps or huge shrimps from um, Lucky. We got peanut oil here heating for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes. Stick it in a chopstick or a wooden spoon. You're gonna see a bubbling like so, like this. You don't need more thermometer, no nothing, guys. Do it the Asian way, the chopstick, okay? Or what is food, it doesn't matter. So, back onto over here. So, like I said, I did not season any of this. Uh, I was inspired by Vancouver Granville on their beautiful fish and chips, so we're just gonna do it that way, okay? So, like this, the setup is like this. So this, this, very close, we're gonna go over here. Which one today? This one. Let's do this one. No, let's do this one. This one looks nicer. No, 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 no. let's do this one, all right? Nice. <laughs> and this is very, a very, very, very easy process. So into our batter, mix. I highly suggest you guys get a tong for this because you don't want your fingers getting messy. So let that drip, one, two, three, four, five. Then into our oil, okay? We'll hold it in for five seconds too. One, two, three. Sorry guys, my hand's in the way, but I have to be safe. Four, five, dunk it in. Everybody, I don't care if they can swim. Whee! One, two, three, four, five. We just have to get in. Cooking time for this. Bizarre crispiness, I'd say, or eight to 10 minutes. As our fish goes, we got a shrimp. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I am drying off my shrimp and fish on a paper towel here. You guys see it? And we're just soaking in there. We're just gonna throw our mini shrimp in, or a huge shrimp in, like so. All right, our beautiful fish is done. Another great way to knowing that your fish is done is by just listening to it. So when you guys listen to your oil, like the first time you put your fish in, it'll be a little loud. Then when it starts cooking and starts being done, it just starts quieting up. So that's how you tell your fish is done in another way or eight to 10 minutes, okay? Shake off any oil, throw it to the side. You can hate, whine, cry, complain, throw hissy fit, say this, say that. But when it comes down to my fried fish game, you better respect my fried fish game. Give this shrimp a stir, everybody into the pool, one at a time. I don't care if they can swim, they just have to get in. Take in time for this desired crispiness because these will cook around maybe a minute and they'll be done. But if you want it crispier, 
fortified in this game. Y'all want to see some good quality fried shrimp? Right here, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes down to frying anything, you guys can trust me, okay? I'll never let you down when it comes down to fried foods because I myself love fried food like you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Our tartar sauce, very simple. One heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise. No, let's go two heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise. We go. Just a touch of mustard. We go half a teaspoon of ketchup. Quarter teaspoon onion powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon black pepper. I don't have any lemon, but we do have lime. Let's just try it with lime. Half a lime. We're gonna go in with a teaspoon of relish. Get that mayonnaise spoon. Mix. Here's my simple tartar sauce complete. 50 game man. Fisherman platter. So. Fisherman come platters, but a little bit of fisherman platter comes with tots, crispy tots. We got two pounds of shrimp, crispy shrimp, and two big, beautiful, crispy tots. Ah, ah. This dish used to be $10. Now it's $45.95. <laughs> you don't want the greens? Too bad it's in it now. Oh that's 69 $49.59 fish platters of my young girl. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, fisherman platter. So went to Quan's fisherman's house today. I heard it's very good on Yelp. <laughs> so we got some hot sauce, we got our fried fish. Homemade, he said it was homemade tar sauce. The kind of looks canned to me, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, guys, fried fish. Let's try this piece first. Here, peep the crunch. Super off this. Oh, man. Something about that. You remember I said in the beginning? Granville. Mmm. So you guys don't know what I was saying in the beginning because you guys skipped it to the food part. In Granville, Vancouver, I had their fish and chips. What kind of came out to me is that they didn't season their fish. And I was like, why didn't they season their fish? But when I was eating it, the seasoning was in the crust. So what am I trying to get here? They're letting their fish or their seeds, their natural fish taste come out rather than us seasoning it, you know? And this is how I'm gonna fry my fish from now on. I'm not gonna season my fish. I always say season your fish. But I'd say stop seasoning your fish, just let that natural fish taste come out and season your batter. It'll complement it. Yeah? Carter sauce. Let's see how homemade this is. Super hot. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. He's right. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to find a place that sells this tar sauce. <laughs> it's very good. Mmm. No. Oh. See, that's what I kind of like about just like going around eating. And just trying new things and trying people's style challenge, people's recipe and just get inspired by it, you know? Hmm. People crunch. Hmm. Right. Delicious. <laughs> I also want to say I did not season my my shrimp as well, and that natural taste just came out. So here, Woo Louisiana hot sauce. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Mmm. Taste it. Mmm. 
I'm not sure about the lime. Mmm. Mmm. The lime will go ahead. That is the show. This is how you fry a farmer's wig. What is this? <laughs> what is this called? <laughs> A fisherman's platter. Mm.